What is up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I'm going to be recommending to you five ways that I think you should spend your stimulus money. So whether you got the $1,200 stimulus check from the government or if you got an EIDL grant or if you got a loan or if you just have some extra money burning a hole in your pocket, I'm going to be talking about five ways that I recommend you spend that money so that you can get the highest return as possible. So one of the first things that you should do is you should hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. And then after you do that, what you should do with your stimulus money is you should pay down your bills and catch up on your bills. If you're somebody who has fallen behind, if you find yourself always paying a couple of days after the due date on any of your bills, whether that be your phone bill, your internet bill, gas bill, electricity bill, whatever the case is, if you are somebody that has found yourself easily falling behind on these bills, then the first thing that you should do with your money is to catch up on these bills. Because Bills and bills that are behind or past due can be crippling to your entire path to growing your wealth and becoming more successful. So if you are somebody who falls into this category and you often find yourself falling behind, then catch up. That is one of the best things that you can do with your stimulus money. Now on the same note, the second recommendation that I have for you for how you should spend your $1,200 stimulus check or your EIDL grant is to pay down any credit card debt that you have. You see so often whenever people get a surplus of money, whether it be through a tax return and grant, a stimulus check, a bonus, whatever the case is, so often people find themselves wanting to spend this money either on a investment, a frivolous purchase, a grand business idea. And though not all of these options are really that bad, I feel like so often people overlook the fact that oftentimes the best investment and the best return on your investment is simply paying down credit card debt. The fact is, is that the average interest rate on credit card debt is between 15 and 19%. And so whenever you pay down your credit card debt, not only are you decreasing your debt, but you're also essentially getting a 15 to 19% return on your investment, which is much higher than you'll get in places like the stock market and mutual funds or in a lot of other businesses that you could start with that same amount of money. So if you are somebody that has any credit card debt at all, I highly recommend that you use your stimulus money to pay down that debt and you will instantly see a 15 to 19% return on that investment, which is huge. Now, my third suggestion is probably my most boring, but it is also one of the most beneficial, and that is to start an emergency fund. Now, an emergency fund is an amazing tool to have in your arsenal to allow yourself to pay for unexpected expenses and to keep yourself out of debt long term. So often people find themselves in debt, they find themselves racking up medical costs or credit card bills because an expense came up that they simply were not prepared for. It could be a health expense, a house expense, a car expense, or anything else that you could possibly imagine. But these unexpected expenses for people who are living paycheck to paycheck can be absolutely detrimental. And so how do you solve this problem? You start an emergency fund. I recommend that you tally up all your expenses on a month-to-month -month basis and you try to get at least one month's emergency fund saved up. Once you have one month, you can then grow to six months or a year. That way, regardless of what happens, and if something like COVID-19 ever happens again, you can be prepared and you can rest easy knowing that you have an emergency fund there as your safety net, regardless of what happens with your job, with the economy, with public health, or anything in between. So an emergency fund is an incredibly valuable tool, not only for your mental health, your peace of mind, but also to allow for you to build wealth long-term. Now my fourth suggestion is if you have paid down your debt, if you've caught up on your bills, if you have an emergency fund, then a great way to spend your stimulus money is by starting a side hustle. Now side hustles are a great way to learn about business and entrepreneurship. It's a great way for you to make some extra income on a month by month basis. And it is a great way to spend your free time. Now a side hustle can be really anything and everything. It could be starting a drop shipping or Shopify store and you could use your stimulus money to buy the domain, buy your Shopify membership, to hire a graphic designer to build you some logos or some graphics for social media, put some money towards marketing dollars on social media. 
You could use it to rent out a room of yours on Airbnb, and you could use that stimulus money to buy some nice furniture, to take some nice photos, to maybe get some marketing materials. You could use it to start a Turo fleet and use part of that $1,200 or your EIDL grant to buy a car or to at least buy a portion of a car. There are so many ways that you could use $1,200 or $1,000 to start a real legitimate side hustle that can make you some good money going forward. And the best thing about side hustles is it's a way that can give you money month after month. So it's not one of those things where you buy it once and it's done with. It's something that could make you two to three hundred dollars a month, even more, depending on what you're doing. And by 12 months time, you've nearly doubled your money, if not tripled it by starting a side hustle with your stimulus money. So a side hustle is a great route to go down, especially for somebody that has already been entrepreneurial minded, that has already been curious about starting a business in the first place. I highly recommend that you go down this route. Now my fifth and final tip for you guys is the same route that I am going down with my own stimulus money, and that is to reinvest it into your business or into your side hustle. Now, if you are somebody that has a business and you have a side hustle, the best place that you can invest that money is into that business. So for example, if you are a Turo host, you could use this stimulus money as a way to buy extra tools for your fleet. So maybe buy an air compressor, maybe a ratchet set, maybe a set of jack stands. If you're somebody that has a Shopify store, you could use this money to ramp up marketing. If you're somebody that buys and sells things on Craigslist, you could use this money to buy some more product that you can then go ahead and flip. The options are absolutely limitless on what you could use this money for to reinvest it into your business. For me personally, I have been ramping up vehicle maintenance over the last couple of weeks, and so I've been making sure that all of my cars are just 100% maintained, 100% ready to go on maintenance and repairs. That way, once the economy returns to normal, I can just snap back into action and start renting out my cars at 100% capacity again. And so I've been using the stimulus money as a way to get everything caught up and get everything up to 100% standard. And you can do the exact same thing with your business, even if you're somebody that doesn't necessarily have a Turo fleet. But investing into your business is the best thing that you can do with your money. And it's the best way to ensure that you have control over your money, you have control over your business, and you are setting yourself up for the highest rate of success possible. So guys, I hope that you guys found this video informative. It's crazy to me how during this time and during this economic crisis, I'm seeing a lot of people use their stimulus money in a rather irresponsible way. For example, I know of a lot of people who are always living paycheck to paycheck, and they've decided to use this $1,200 stimulus check as a way to get a week-long vacation at a fancy hotel or to buy a brand new car and use that money as a down payment. It really blows my mind. And I think that it's important that though we spend this money because that's what it's designed to do, like it's designed to be spent and to help stimulate the economy, there are smart ways that we can do it. And there are smart ways that we can spend this money so that we can get a high ROI and a high return on our investment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one.